This is the authentic Marvel Legends movie Venom. And here's the bootleg version that I found on AliExpress. Straight off, you can see plenty of differences between the packaging. The bootleg version doesn't have the flap at the top. Second, the Marvel logo is missing at the Marvel Legends series at the top of the box. And for the original, the word Venom is cut off along the edges of the words. But for the bootleg version, it is not. The side of the boxes have very similar printing. For the original, the plastic is harder. Now you can see I can barely press it. But for the bootleg version, the plastic cover on the outside is softer. You can see how easily I press the plastic. The bootleg has the word Venom printed at the top as well. The same thing is printed at the bottom of the box, but the barcode has a different number at the center portion of it. 010993 for the original, 080993 for the bootleg version. At the back of the box, the picture of Venom is kind of cut off because they don't have the flap at the top. The words on the bio are the same. At the back, it is also missing the Marvel logo. You guys know the shape of the box of the original Marvel Legends, it is like this. But for the bootleg version, it is really rectangular. Really box-like. <laughs> and the thickness of the box is actually about the same as the original. And the original is slightly wider, you can see this extra part that is coming out. Now, let's get the figure out. Here's the clamshell out of the box. It has a similar blue cardboard at the back of the clamshell, just like the original. But I think it got it the other way around because for the original, you can see the whiter part is at the bottom. But for this bootleg version, the whiter part is at the top. Just a minor thing, but yeah, something for me to point out. Let's compare this with the original. This is the original and this is the bootleg and I'm going to share with you 6 differences between them. First difference are the hands. The packs are different on the bootleg, the reach is more obvious on the bootleg hands. Overall, the pack is also slightly narrower. This is the same for the other hand as well. Even though it is slightly different, the bootleg hands is able to go into the original figure. And vice versa as well, the original hands can fit the bootleg figure. Difference number two is the paintwork on the head. The paintwork on the mouth of the bootleg is really terrible. The white paintwork isn't really that good. You can see more pink on it. Other than that, the scalp is pretty much about the same. There's not much difference on the inside that I can differentiate. One more difference would be the curves at the top of the eyes. For the original, it curves more than the bootleg. Same goes for the other bootleg head. Maybe he's using pink toothpaste or something because this set of teeth is really pink. The eyes are not level at the nose bridge area. The left eye is slightly higher than the right one. And you can also see a slight gap at the top of the jaw that I'm pointing at. From the side, the pink at the top part of the jaw here is not painted that well on both sides of the bootleg. When you compare it with the original, the pink paintwork on the original is so much better at the top of the jaw here. And the teeth is also definitely painted better. And like I mentioned earlier, there is almost no gap for the original. But for the bootleg, there is a slight gap at the top of the jaw where it connects it over here. But it isn't that bad. Overall, this bootleg head is still kind of okay except for that pink teeth. Third is the paintwork of the veins on the body. For the original, the white is kind of slightly faded and it looks kind of natural on the body. But for the bootleg, it is really white. There is not much blur to it. And I think the paintwork is really not that great for the bootleg, for these white veins. You can really see the difference here. This is kind of slightly faded and looks more natural. This one is really clear white. Same goes for the paintwork on the fist. And also the paintwork on the forearms. It definitely looks better on the original. The fourth difference is the texture on the body. For the original, you can see that there is sculpted texture throughout the whole body from the shoulders all the way to the arms, down to the torso, all the way down to the legs. 
But the thing about the bootleg is that on the lower torso and also the thigh joint, the texture is actually missing. So this is one major difference for the bootleg figure. There is the missing texture on the lower torso and also at the hip joint over here. From the thigh onwards, the texture is there. The fifth difference is a simple one. The original has a serial number at the back of the left thigh. The bootleg does not have any serial number. You can also see clearly the missing texture over here. The butt is really smooth compared to the original. And the last difference is that when you do a split on the bootleg, there is a slight gap at the crotch area here. On the original, there isn't any gap. For articulation, the joints on the bootleg figure all works fine. It is slightly more loose on the hip joint, but it isn't to the extent that the legs can be flying around when I shake the figure, so it really isn't that bad. But it's definitely tighter on the original at the hip joints over here. Other than that, all the joints is exactly the same as the original and it works fine. Overall, the bootleg figure is quite a decent figure. I don't think you would want to get it to replace the original Venom figure, but if you want to use it for a custom or a repaint, I think this is definitely a cheaper alternative compared to getting the original one and repainting it. Because the quality on this bootleg is actually quite decent. The joints are not as tight as the original, but it is definitely not loose as well, so the joints are fine. The articulation is also the same as the original. I think the differences that I shared with you guys, I was kind of nitpicking on a lot of things. So yeah, the bootleg isn't really that bad. It's definitely a good body base if you want to custom the figure. But if you're going to put it in your collection, I think definitely you should try get the original one because the paintwork on the original is better. Hope this video helps. Thanks for watching. Do check out my comparison of the Juggernaut original and bootleg figure over here.